It is hard for us to keep cool in this heat, and it's even tougher for your pets. So WBZ's Rachel Holt got some advice from the Animal Rescue League. High temperatures can mean danger for animals. Dogs are not very good at letting us know when they've had too much or when they're too hot. So what we notice is um, sort of when the heat stroke has already kicked in. Dr. Nicole Breda of the Animal Rescue League of Boston is giving pet owners some helpful tips during the heat wave. Supplying um, kitty pools for them to cool off in, lots of shade, ample water, um, and really limiting limiting exercise as much as possible. If a pet must be outdoors, be mindful of hot surfaces. Folks will go hiking or walk along the pavement, um, and the, the the paw pads will get burned off. Um, so having owners, I usually say, put your hand down on the on the pavement, and if it's too hot for you, then it's too hot for their paws. Watch for signs of heat stroke. What you're going to see is definitely increased panting. Um, some of these dogs will start drooling. Um, we'll even see the gum color change, so deep red or purple gum color um, or tongue color. Um, and then it can progress to vomiting, weakness, and eventually collapse when they get to the point of severe heat stroke. The Animal Rescue League wards of leaving pets in hot vehicles, sharing that an outside temperature of 94 degrees can mean a temp of 145 degrees inside a car. Without any AC, even within a few minutes, that those temperatures can rise to a deadly um, level where these guys can get heat stroke within minutes. The ARL says prevention is key. If possible, leave your pet indoors in the AC. Rachel Holt, WBZ News.